Aloha world and welcome to another episode of the queer and the queen. I am your in-house queer Jacoby Jones here with your in-house queen Queen Esther. How you doing today girl? I'm doing good. I'm feeling lively, bubbly, you know, a little <laughs> my 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 um what you call it my nerves are tingling. I'm feeling great. Today's episode for the for the viewers, we're going to give you a few cool interesting current event topics at the end of the show, but we're going to start this show out with some fun sexual content so you can get to know us and our lives and our experiences yes. mm -hmm. so i have this questionnaire that we're going to go down together question number one where is the weirdest place you've ever had sex oh on a on a on a um lifeguard chair on a beach <laughs> wow in hawaii wow okay. really that's okay. that's interesting okay. Stop that, me. I'm not, yes, I'm just, I've never done that. I'm just saying that's interesting. Are you going to add that to your bucket list now? I've never. No, 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 no. Um, For me. I'm waiting. Weirdest. Oh, hood of a car on a golf course that was closed that we broke into. <laughs> Have you ever been caught having sex? By like, your, I've been caught by having sex by yeah. someone else's mama. No, never. I got caught by someone else's mama and I got caught by the police. That is so, oh, then by the police, by the police. What is your favorite part of the body? And uh, mine is not the penis as some may think. And I'm sure yours is probably not the vagina, but what's your favorite part of the body? This part right here, the jawline and someone's hands. Mine is the belly button. Have, you know and, I, and I know this is true. I know this is this is true, which is so sad. I shouldn't even ask this question. But have you ever been in a committed relationship and then you needed to fantasize about someone else to get off? Keyword here is committed relationship. And I personally think gay men do this all the time because they they are just whores now i haven't i can't really recall myself ever having to fantasize about someone else but i have had a situation before where i'm getting hit from the back and i'm just like wait a minute who is this again I don't remember. <laughs> what about touch for you what is your favorite place to be touched on your body now, that was my own random question yeah, bitch, at this point anywhere <laughs> <laughs> Dude, rub my forehead. Ooh, you so good to me. Ooh, you so good to me. Ooh, you so good. No, there's no favorite part of your body, though, to be caressed. You just said you love belly buttons, but, like, no part of you you like to be touched? I would love it if someone did that my belly button, what I like to do to theirs. I would love that. I would. That would be, like, my, that would be, that wouldn't be erotic for me, though. It would just be satisfaction. But my weakest spot would be my nipples. Interesting. My, whoa. Girl, no, mine are really it'll be a fireworks show if you hit the nipples right, girl. Is there a limit for how many people you would have sex at one time? <sighs> at one, actually, at one time, at one time. Yeah. Oh, one. yeah. That's that's easy. Yeah, that's a limit. One. One. Okay. At one, okay. Yeah. Oh, is that because now in home? one day is a whole other story? <laughs> what about yourself? At one, have, have you ever like? I'm the same as you, yeah, that. Yeah. Have you ever had a threesome? No. Wait, huh? I have had a few and I'm not crazy about them. I'm talking about a threesome. I've been taking advantage of. You've been taking, oh God, define. I just thought of something. Oh God. Have you ever recorded a sexual experience? <laughs> I'm waiting. Have you ever recorded? I, I'm, yes, I have. There, there. Yes, there's documentation of my my skill level. I up. still rewatch it to this day, girl. Like, <laughs> I'm like, look at me go, girl. Look at me go. Get it, boy. Get it. <laughs> you know what? Both of these things go hand in hand with me. Yes, I have role play because I have a videotape of me role playing. Oh, good. Oh, that's a good one. Have you ever? Had sex that was so good you started crying during sex. Yes, I have. it's been so long. <laughs> Girl, oh. uh, okay, maybe that's beautiful somewhere. That's great. I'm so it happy to was. hear. It. But I, was... I, I have not. Now I have 
had sex where afterwards I got emotional because I realized that I loved him. And I was like blown away that I had got to this point and I didn't know how I got here. And I was just like, oh my God, I think I'm in love with this man. You know what I mean? Like, do you prefer, I, I, this is, I mean, this could be like the shallow hoe in me. Although I'm not shallow, but I mean, do the you, uh -huh. the, yeah, do you prefer, uh, do you like eye contact during sex or no eye contact? There's a limit. There is a motherfucking limit for the eye contact. Like in a moment. No, not the whole time. I don't want you like, you know, looking at me every moment because I think. Right here. Don't bring that energy. No, don't bring yeah, it. See, you know, so I, you? I have a friend. I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, at all? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, not like really. I mean, maybe a little, like a couple glimpses, but for the most part, I re I'm like, no, I don't like it. My one friend, no, I have this friend, and he was like, oh, that's all I do. But he's a very narcissistic person. So he oh. like, I could see, I was like, why do I do? He's like, I like to stare into their eyes while I know I'm fucking the shit. And I'm just like, creepy. Well, he but wants to see the reaction, and that gives him that pleasure of seeing what the fuck he just did to that person. I like looking at each other. We can look at each other, but I don't want to stare into each other's eyes. Like, I'm just like, no, that's no. That's what the question is. Stare into each other's eyes, you know what I mean? Or not. And I just, I can't. I, I can't. You know, you see that part right where you like choke somebody and you stare into their eyes. Like, like that part is cute. Just for a moment and then move on. Yeah, yeah, just for a moment. But I'm talking about like stare. Like, for real. Like, that's, and that's what psychopaths tend to do. They like to just uh -huh, stare into your soul. What do you think about this Kirk Franklin and his son situation? Did you listen to the phone conversation? No, I didn't, but I know he used a lot of explicatives towards his son. I did not listen either, but I did know, I heard that he said that he was a bitch ass nigga. Mm. <laughs> and that he would like beat his ass and some shit like that. And mm. there's a bunch of memes on social media about how he was gonna give him a stomp. No. Shit. Oh, girl. Did you see the Grammys? Of course. I no, I ain't gonna lie to you. I did not I watch them. I did not watch the Grammys. I watched Megan Thee Stallion give her ghetto ass speech. I watched Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion dance, which was just boring to me. I watched Cardi B do up, which looked like she can't, she having a, it looked like she having a hard time throwing that inflatable body around these days. And then I saw Beyonce's speech. Beyonce's speech was good. It was beautiful. You know, she broke a record now, so that's great. But really, though, on that Cardi B no, I love Cardi B. I really do. But that performance, I was just looking at that shit like, what in the EBT? Well, first of all, I feel like she had no energy because there's nobody, you know, the whole COVID thing, no energy in the audience to play off of. I agree with you. It was, it was like deflated of an of a performance but inflated and deflated is what that it whole performance deflated. was, she was too but inflated. also i did hear if this gives her any kind of credit but it really doesn't for me is that the outfit that she wore was real metal and it was really heavy but that's not an excuse to me that's just stupid to me because bitch, if you know you gotta do this dance performance wear some shit that you know you can perform in like why would you wear a 40 pound outfit and you know you got to be jumping up and up, then up, then up. <laughs> and then there was just another moment where Megan literally climbed up some stairs to get on the bed just to flip Cardi B over and exit. And that was and it. she looked like, exhausted. Yes, <sighs> 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 that she got to do her hair back like she was a porn star getting ready for the next cum shot. But that's really it for today. We just came at you guys with another episode. Sorry we missed last Friday. Also, so if you stuck around to the end, we're doing a giveaway. So in order to enter for this giveaway, you need to go to social media and follow our, our channel for The Queer and the Queen and follow both of us individually. And then DM us on The Queer and the Queen and let us know that you follow both outlets and, or both of our accounts. And we're giving away special Hawaiian treats for you guys that you can only buy here. And it's a lot of goodies. There are candies and coffees and chocolates and a whole array of things I'm going to be giving away. And I'm going to post some pictures and some links at the end of this video so you can see the options. But it's not really options. You don't get to pick what you win, but I do get to pick the winner and send you what I want to send you. 
And as we always say, love yourself and don't forget to smile.